Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be organizing this disastrous under sink mess. This has been a mess for quite a while. I've been putting it off because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to organize it and I finally made my decision and decided to tackle it. So I'm going to take everything out from underneath the sink and as you can see it looks absolutely awful. All of this black powder is from when we redid our plumbing and had to cut into the pipes. I just hadn't cleaned it up and threw a bunch of stuff in there and then just kind of forgot about it. So I'm going to actually take my shop vac and vacuum this all up before I wipe it out with my rag and my spray cleaner. Now I'm going to take my all-purpose spray cleaner and a microfiber cloth. I'm going to spray it all down and then wipe it up and get it all nice and clean. I'm even going to wipe down the garbage disposal and the plumbing pipes. I have this glass canister from Ikea and it has something really weird on the inside of it. No idea what this is, but it's all crusted in there. So I'm going to get the water hot and I'm just going to clean this out. That way it can dry it really good because I like to keep my dishwasher pods in here. I found this Sterilite three drawer organizer from Walmart for $10 and it has three drawers here. They have them in clear so you can actually like see through the container and see what's in there. But I really like the look of this. It's a gray and it kind of has a woven basket design on the drawers. So I thought this would be great to keep all my stuff in. Normally I use Dollar Tree bins, but I think this is a little bit more compact. It takes advantage of that vertical space. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by putting my washcloths in here. They all fit nicely in the top drawer. And then I'm gonna put some sponges here in the bottom drawer. I don't go through these very fast. I am gonna put about half of them upstairs in the laundry room because I also use them for cleaning elsewhere. I have some steel wool scrubbing pads and toothbrushes that are cleaning. So I'm gonna put those in there as well. I've got my cleaning paste and cleaning spray concentrate that I absolutely love. I'll link those down below. I'm also going to put that in there along with our drain stopper as well as some extra other little things that fit in there and it all fits in there perfectly. I have this empty Dawn power wash bottle and I'm going to show you guys a little hack to kind of do a DIY version. I'm going to fill it a little over halfway with some warm water and then I'm going to add some dish soap to it. Now I filled the water a little too fast so it kind of foamed up in there so I kind of made a mess. But once it's almost all the way to the top you can replace your lid. I'm going to give it a quick rinse because I kind of made a mess. Dry it off and give it a good shake. This is what I like to use to wash my dishes. I'm just using the Kirkland. Um, environmental friendly dish soap. I don't really care too much for the Dawn Power Wash. Yeah, it works really good on my dishes, but I don't like that even the um, free and clear has a scent to it. I don't want any scent. So it doesn't work 100% like Dawn Power Wash because that stuff worked really good. But now I can keep this on my sink and it looks really pretty. So that's a little hack for you guys since this is a really nice spray bottle and it makes it really easy to hand wash dishes. I got this wire basket from Dollar Tree. 
and I'm gonna use these command hooks that I got from Amazon, I'll link them down below, and I'm gonna attach it to the door. So first, I'm going to spray it with some rubbing alcohol, get it all nice and clean, and then I can measure out where they need to go. The basket fits on there perfectly and I could put my vegetable scrub brush as well as some of my other cleaning sponges in there so that way they can air dry nicely and when I close the door it does not hit anything inside. I decided to use another hook on the other side and this is going to be for my gloves for when I wash the dishes. I have just a little office clip here that I'm going to hang it with. And when I close the door, the gloves hang over that little tray. That way I won't drip water on the cabinet as they dry. Look at all of this trash and recycle that I was able to remove from underneath the sink. It feels so good getting all of this junk out. These are the bins from Dollar Tree that I did not end up using. They just need to be emptied out and cleaned, stored in the basement for another project. I'm gonna use my Cricut Maker to make some nice pretty labels for my cleaners and stuff just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. And here is the after. It is so nice and clean. I love how much room I have. I love how I have this organized. It seriously makes me so happy. I have tons of room in the back for extra things like my cleaning stuff and soaps and stuff. But in the front, it looks so nice. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you think this project turns out. I just love it so much. I hope this video motivated you guys to get some organization done and I hope this gave you some ideas. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.